we come contrite. And oh God, we come, oh God, with a heart of gratitude that we are still able, oh God, to access grace and mercy. And so, Father, even though you were crucified many years ago, your blood spoke on the day of Calvary. Your blood spoke on that day when you were crucified. But your blood also speaks today. It never loses its power. It never loses its efficacy. Oh God, your blood still speaks for me. It still speaks for our members. And so we thank you, oh God, for the blood that speaks for us today. And so we can now come boldly to your throne where we can find grace, where we can obtain mercy. We come into your house, oh God, now with praise on our lips, with praise on our hearts, because we know that we are no longer separated from you. We are no longer disconnected. We are not cut off, but because of your blood, we are now ears and joint ears with you, Christ Jesus. We are now seated with you in heavenly places because we are redeemed. We are washed. We were bought with such a precious price. Your life, Jesus. And so, oh God, we come into your house and we come now grateful we come now with the ability to lift up holy hands. We come, oh God, with the ability to open up our mouth and not be guilty, but to open up our mouths and give you worship and praise and the adoration, oh, that you are so worthy of. And so we thank you now, God, that we can now escape sin and the grave. We can now escape death because of the sacrifice of Calvary. We thank you, God, that we are now, we now have hope, a blessed hope. Oh, God, that we are not ashamed of. We thank you because of Calvary. We can now go forward in faith. Forward in power through the blood of Jesus. And so, Father God, we thank you for each and every person that is here today. Oh, God, made the sacrifice to come into your house. The sacrifice to come to fasting and prayer. Oh, God, even as we are here, oh, God, we bow ourselves and we pray that you will have your perfect will and your way in our lives. Oh, Lord God, Father, let your will be done in each and every member of kingdom grace. Father, we pray that your will be done and your kingdom will come. Let your kingdom be established in our lives. Let your kingdom be established in our daily living. Oh, God, we pray, Father, we pray, oh, God, not our will, but thy will. Let your will be done. Let your will be done in our daily walk. Oh God, let your will be done in our businesses. Let your will be done in our families, in each and every family member. Lord, we put our families before you and we pray that your perfect will will be made manifest in the lives of the members of Kingdom Grace and their loved ones, their families. Lord, let your will be done. Father, the enemy would want to pull us away from your will, to separate us from your divine will, your perfect will for our lives. Oh, but we align ourselves with your will. Father, we will walk according to your way. We will walk according to your word. We will not be separated, oh God, from your precepts and your statutes concerning us. We will not walk away from our divine purpose, but we, oh God, will will fulfill purpose. Your mother's womb, I knew you, and before you came out, I ordained you. We know God that you have also called us. We know God that you have also ordained us. And we will not move away. We will not be separated. We will not be derailed from fulfilling purpose. 
And so we pray even now, God, that those persons here, those persons are part of the body who have not yet come into the knowledge of their divine purpose. Lord, let their purpose be revealed in their hearts. The purpose that you have called them to. Let that purpose be revealed oh my god we know that we are not just called to live a life and to work nine to five and then die there is more to our living than just a job and then retirement and death but you have called us to a holy calling you have assigned a divine purpose to each and every one of our lives and so we pray that we will come into full knowledge of our our divine purpose that the call that is on our life will be fulfilled so that the kingdom of God can be established so that your will can be done in and through the earth in this island Jamaica in this parish of St. Catherine in the town Spanish town in our own communities in our own families let our purpose be made manifest Oh, God Almighty, we want to find you. Your word declares that we will find you if we seek after you with all our heart. And so, Father, we want to run after you. We want to chase after you. Oh, God, as the deer panted after the water brook, so doth my soul long it after thee, oh God. We pray that your people will have a hunger and a thirst. Oh God, we will thirst after righteousness. We will hunger and thirst after your word. We will hunger and thirst to be found in your will. We will hunger and thirst after you, oh God, after the things of God. And so we will continue to feast and think on the things that are good, the things that are lovely, of good report. Our minds and our hearts and our spirit will be fixed on those things. The things of God. So that we can walk uprightly. So that we can be found in right standing with you, Father. So that righteousness can be found in us. So that holiness can be found in us. Your word declares that without holiness, no man can see you. And so, Father, we desire to see you. We desire to have communion with you. We desire to daily walk with you. And so we pray. Oh God, that we will be found to be holy. And so we pray, God, that we will be, oh God, we will present our hearts, we will print, present our bodies as living, living sacrifices that is holy and acceptable because it is our reasonable. Reasonable service, reasonable service. Oh God, it is our reasonable service to walk holy. It is our reasonable service to live right. It is our reasonable service, oh God, to stand in righteousness. Your word declares that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach unto any people. And so, Father, this island of Jamaica, ah, there are men and women and boys, girls, oh, that have been entrenched in sin, that has been walking after their flesh and not after the Spirit of God. And so, God, unrighteousness has been exalted. Oh, God, unrighteousness and unholiness, oh, God, has been exalted. But, Father, today, as the blood wash and as the called out, we desire to walk in holiness and righteousness, to raise the banner of righteousness high to raise the banner oh God of holiness high oh God that comes what may even when others turn away from you we will not turn away from the ways of our God we will not turn away from the word of God we will hold true the word of God when others will curse you we will never curse you father when others will turn away and forsake you and your word we will not we will hold fast Lord we will stand on the word of God we will contend for the faith we oh God will declare your word hallelujah 
Hallelujah. We will not be deterred by what men and women say around us. And so we continue to pray, Father, for our nation and the Constitution. We continue to pray, O oh God, for our leaders. Leaders in all capacity. Leaders in all areas. O oh God, members of parliament. Starting, O oh God, from our prime minister. Even the governor general. Down, O oh God, to other ministers. Every member of parliament. Every cabinet member. We put them before you, Lord. Where we fail to remember their names. You know them by name and nature. Where we fail to know their deeds. You know the reign of their hearts. You know every deed, O oh God, of these men and women. And so, Father, we hold them up before you in prayer. We hold them up today in prayer. We come today in fasting service and we intercede on behalf of the men and women who lead this nation. Father, we pray that there will be a divine and radical change. That it will begin at Gordon House, that it will begin in our parliament. Let the fear of God come alive and come back to the hearts of our leaders. Leaders who no longer fear you, who no longer reverence the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that there will be a visitation. Give them a personal visitation, Father. Trouble their hearts and turn them back to you, Lord. Visit them in the midnight hour when there is no one around. Visit them in their bedrooms. Visit them in their quiet places. Speak to their hearts and let them know that you are King of kings and Lord of lords. Speak to them, Father. We pray that their ears will be open to the voice of God. We pray that their eyes will be open, oh God, to you. They will see you in all your glory, that they will see you just as how you encountered Paul and Saul on that Damascus road. I pray that these leaders will get a divine encounter. Oh God, that they will see you, oh, who is king of kings. They will see you, who is the owner only wise God. Hallelujah. I pray that the fear of God will be kindled in their hearts where they will tremble at you. Our leaders will tremble at the name of Jesus. Just as how demons and devil tremble and they know that there is but one God. We pray and declare that our leaders will tremble in reverence to the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We pray that they will come in a line with the kingdom agenda and the kingdom mandate for Jamaica land we love. We pray that every member of parliament will come in a line. Come in a line, come in a line, come in a line, come in a line. We pray that order will be restored in our nation, starting in communities. Oh God, starting in our towns, starting and spilling over to every parish. Lord, from Moran Point to Negril Point, we call back divine order. Let there be divine order in our streets. Let there be divine order in our homes. Let the fear of God come alive. Yes. The fear of God. Let it come alive. And so we pray also for the police force. We pray for the JCF. And we pray for the JDF. We pray for the police and the soldiers, those that are put as peacekeepers. We pray, oh God, that they will be called blessed. We pray, oh God, that they, oh God, will be led by the Spirit of God. We pray, oh God, that men and women that are in these different areas that know you, that, oh God, they have a relationship with you. I pray that their light will spread. 
spread and shine bright. Oh, that they will be positive influences. That their peers and their workmates will see them as living epistles. And also come to know you who is life eternal. And so, Lord, let the men who know right. Let the women who know right. Let them stand up in spite of. Let them stand up, oh God, as examples. Oh God, against persecution. Against being ridiculed. Give them the strength to be examples. Hallelujah. So that other men and women will follow them. Uh, God Almighty. And so we pray even now. We pray against corruption. We pray against corruption. Corruption on every level. Corruption every nook and cranny. Oh God, we pray against the spirit of corruption. We bind it in the name of Jesus and we cast it down. We pray as a body. Ah, ah. We pray as a body. We stand in agreement. We come in agreement today and we intercede and we speak the word of God and we declare that there will be truth there will be truth there will be truth there will be truth let God be true and every else man a liar. Lord, let your truth be established in the government. Let your truth be established in our leaders. Let there be truth. Oh my God Almighty. Let the constitution come in a line with truth. Let the laws of the land come in a line with the truth. Let everything that is spoken, every legislation, let it come in a line with the truth truth of God let it come in a line with your word your word is true uh, let your word be the measuring stick oh God of all legislation let your word be the measuring stick oh my God of our laws and the decrees that are made on the land through our government Lord let corruption be dispelled let it be eradicated because the truth of God Yes, 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 it comes in power. The truth of God, the light of God, it comes in power. Hallelujah. Let God be true. Let God be true. Let God be true in our nation. Let our God be true in our nation. Let God be true in our parliament. Yes, Holy Spirit, take full control. Take full control of our leaders. We put them before you in prayer, in fervent prayer. Spirit of the Lord, find reign and expression through our parliament. Let them submit their will. Let their wills be broken and let your will be found in them. Let their will, oh God, be bent towards your will. Oh God, let all other agendas, let their personal agendas be placed aside and let your will be established. Hallelujah. The will of Lord. The will of our Lord will be established. The will of our Lord will be established. Hallelujah. The will of our Lord will be established. Your kingdom will be established here in Jamaica. The kingdom of God will be established in Jamaica. The kingdom mandate and the kingdom agenda will be established in our nation. Yes, 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 yes. We will not be quiet. Our voices will be heard as the church of the living God. As the pillar and ground of truth. We stand as legislators in the spirit. And we declare that the kingdom of God will come in power and authority. Yes, yes, yes. In this island, Jamaica. Yes. Not next month. Not next year, but today, right now, let there be change. We pray that there will be transformation. Yes, we speak to the very foundation of this country. Your word declares, if the foundations be destroyed, what 
can the righteous do? And so we speak to the foundation, the fabric of our society. Let the morals and the values of Jamaica, godly morals, godly values, according to the truth of God, your word, let it be established in every home. In every home and in every, every avenue, every byway and every highway. Yes, yes, let it be so. Let it be so. Let it be so. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, we stand on the word. Yes, yes. Demons of darkness that would come to fight against leaders in every capacity. Even our teachers that lead our students. Yes, in every capacity. In every area in schooling from tertiary to our high schools, to our primary schools, to even our basic schools. My God. We put the teachers before the Lord in prayer today. And we pray, oh God, that their agenda, let there, be a, let there be a spiritual syllabus that will override every other syllabus. Yes. Let there be an integration of the syllabus of heaven. Let the syllabus of heaven come and take over. Let it dominate. My God. Let it have dominion over the syllabus that is in the schools. Yes. Father, you know those things that are detrimental to our children. You know the things that are in the syllabus that are detrimental. You know the things that are coming against your will. Father, let there be a plucking up. Let there be a plucking up, a plucking up. Of every negative thing that comes against the mind of our children and school. Let there be a plucking up. Coming against our children. In the classrooms daily. Their little minds are bombarded by these negative things. But we pluck them up today in prayer. We pull them up today in prayer. My God Almighty. Yes, yes. We declare that every ungodly seed, we crush them. And we, are, we burn them. We apply the fire of the Holy Ghost. And we disintegrate every ungodly seed in our schools. Yes. We declare that our children, the minds of our children will be covered. Hallelujah. I declare that the minds of our children will be covered. Yes, their young minds, Father. Oh, that is susceptible to, to absorbing anything. But Lord, I pray that there will be a spiritual firewall to stop every negative seed from being planted in their minds and their hearts. Every negative seed must die. In the name of Jesus. My God Almighty. Right now. By the fire of God. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let every negative seed die now. My God. Yes. Die now. Yes. We hold up our children in prayer. We hold up the little boys in prayer. We hold up the little girls in prayer today. Yes. We speak against every devil that is out to kill them. Devils and diabolical forces that are out for blood. They are out to kill our children. We speak against those diabolical spirits. And we release the blood of Jesus to cover our children. Let our children be covered. Hallelujah. Let our children be covered. Mm. 
from the crown of their head to the very sole of their feet. Let our children be covered. Yes. Every one of them, I declare that they are covered. Hallelujah. My God Almighty. Somebody just pray for one minute. Speak a word of covering over our children. Pray for one minute and speak a word of covering over our children. The children in St. Catherine. Yeah, starting right here. The children in Spanish Town. Somebody pray a covering. Open your mouth. Pray a covering. Declare and decree that they are covered. Yes. 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 Let the angels of the Lord be released. Let the angels of the Lord be assigned to these children. Guardian angels to keep them, to keep them, to fight for them. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, yes. Let your voices be heard in the heavens. Let your voices be heard in the heavens. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for our children that they are delivered, they are set free, they are covered under the blood of Jesus. Oh God, we declare that our children are blessed. Hallelujah, we declare our children, oh God, shall walk in the path of righteousness and holiness. Oh God, we thank you that our children, oh God, will be the children of tomorrow. They will be equipped to speak with the enemies at the gates. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us lift up our children of tomorrow. Oh God, they are our next generation. Oh God, let us prepare them. Oh God, oh Rabakata, you know the book of Sata. Let us prepare them for tomorrow. Oh God, we thank you that our children shall be our leaders and not followers. In the name of Jesus, declare that the enemy shall not have them. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you. We thank you, God, that they are covered by your spirit. Oh God, like what a mother hen covered her children, her chicken. God, we declare that your covering will be over them in the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare that molestation and rape and incest will have no power over our children in the name of Jesus. We declare God will give them a voice to speak out in the name of Jesus when they are troubled, when they have been wronged in the name of Jesus. We cover our children. We cover them, our young girls and our young boys. Oh God, cover them by your spirit in the name of Jesus. Cover them by your spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we declare and decree today that your coverage, that your blood coverage will be over them in the name of Jesus from freak accident, from untimely sickness, from untimely death. Oh God, we declare your covering in the name of Jesus. Come on, people of God. Oh, Rabba Satai. Oh, God. We'll lose our children from bondage. We'll lose our children from stronghold. They are our next generation. Oh, God. They are our next generation. Oh, God. They are our next generation. Oh, God. Raise them up. We raise them up in the spirit. We raise them up in the spirit. We raise them up in the spirit. We raise them up in the spirit of righteousness and holiness. In the name of Jesus. Raise them up. God, we declare they shall not walk the wayward path. They shall walk circumspect in the name of Jesus. Oh God, they shall walk the narrow path in the name of Jesus. We pray God that they will not be in the occult in the name of Jesus. We declare God that you'll pull them out of the dark things. We declare God that revelings oh God and nakedness will have no power over them in the name of Jesus. We declare that early teenage pregnancy will have no power over them in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of concubinage of our children in the name of Jesus. We speak life over them. We speak life over them in the name of Jesus. We declare godly principles of our children in the name of Jesus. We declare godly principles of our children in the name of Jesus. You said God suffered the little children to come unto me and forbid them not. For such is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 We we'll lament for our children. We stand in the gap for our future tomorrow in the name of Jesus. 
Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, yes. some things that we see our children doing. Oh God, but the devil is a liar. We pull them out, we pull them out in the name of Jesus. The things they listen to, the things they watch, the influence. Oh God, that the generation know over them. We break it in the name of Jesus. We declare a new manifestation of our children in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to set a new record for our children in the name of Jesus. Lord, we place them before you. We place them before you, God. We place them before you. Oh, God, we place them before you. Some of them have been taken out by untimely death, by untimely sickness, but we break every generational spirit in the name of Jesus. We break every generational spirit in the name of Jesus. We break every atmospherical spirit of our children. We break every new age spirit from of our children in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We break every new age spirit from over our children in the name of Jesus. Oh God, the things that they are listening to that cause them become, oh God, dominant, rebellious, oh God, and disobedient. We break those spirit in the name of Jesus. We break those spirit in the name of Jesus. We break the spirit of the social media that is not influencing them the right way, God. We break the here ways. We come against the spirit that govern the here ways in the the name of Jesus uh, that is influencing our children in the name of Jesus uh, oh God uh, oh God we break it today in the name of Jesus uh, they have become addicted uh, oh God they have been withdrawn uh, oh God in the name of Jesus uh, they have become isolated uh, but in the name of Jesus uh, we come against the spirit of the here uh, oh God that is coming uh, oh God in the hearts and in the mind uh, of our children uh, the spirit of suicide we break your hold uh, in the name of Jesus uh, the spirit of rejection uh, we break your hold uh, of our children in the name of Jesus. We break it in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, mighty God, raise up the Deborah. Raise up the Deborah's. Oh God, raise up the Jeremiah's. Raise up the Ezekiel, the Daniel's. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Raise up the Oh God, raise up the Jeremiah's. Raise up the Ezekiel, the Daniel, the Nathaniel, the Jehoz, the Elijah, and the Elisha. In our children, the Hestas. Raise them up, God. Raise them up for this generation. to Raise them up, God. Raise them up, God. The Daniel who will stand and will not power in the name of Jesus. Oh God, the Jacob who will wrestle till change come. Oh God, the Abraham who will stand in faith till he see the sacrifice come to pass. Raise up our children, God. Raise them up to declare thus said the Lord of hosts. Raise up the John the Baptist, God, to speak to the enemy in the face and say thus said the Lord of hosts. Raise them up, God. Raise them up, God. Raise up the Philip who will be stone to death for your sake in the name of Jesus raise them up father Raise them up, God. Raise them up, God. Pull them from the dark place. Pull them out of depression and oppression. Pull them from the drugs then. Pull them from the ammunition and the guns. Pull them from the homosexuality. Pull them out, God. Pull them out by your spirit. Pull them out. We grab a hold on our children, our future generation. Oh, God, we pull them out. We pull them out. We pull them out. We pull them out. We pull them out in the name of Jesus. We pull them out. We pull them out in the name of Jesus. We pull them out of scamming. We pull them out in the name of Jesus. We pull them out, God. We pull them out, Aka. We pull them out in the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be a overflow in the schools. Let there be overflow in the universities. Let there be a overflow, God. Let there be an overflow of your spirit. We declare that the men and the women of God will reach out in the schools. Oh, God, and in the universities in the name of Jesus and touch the lives of our future generation in the name of Jesus. It's our generation next. We need to fight for them. We need to fight for them. The word said we must send for the women who will weep and who will wail before the altars for our children, for our sons and our daughters. I stand in the gap. I stand in the gap for our children. Oh, we stand in the gap 
cycle. We break the cycle. We break generational cycle. In the name of Jesus. As they alight, some of them have a cup. Some of them are robot there and mega. They see no hope and no future. But we declare today, God, that you are their righteousness. You are their peace. You are their hope. You are their deliverer. In the name of Jesus. Some of them have been burdened from a stony age. But today, God, we send forth a word in the realms of the spirit. And we grab a hold on the mind of our children. We pull their mind. Oh, God, we pull their focus. We declare, God, that you'll bridle their mind like the horse be bridled today. In the name of Jesus. Mighty God, rescue our children. Rescue our lost and dying children. Oh God, those have been rejected on the street. Oh God, we declare that the government, oh God, will do something in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we declare, oh God, that the overseer of this nation will see God, oh God, and do something in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, God. We are believing for a move for our children. We are believing you for a move. We are believing you for a move. Oh, God. Oh, God. My heart is so heavy when I say the children at times. Oh, God. In the dance hall, in the party. Oh, God. We declare that parents will take their rightful possession. Yes, yes, in the yes, name of yes, Jesus, yes. we declare that parents will become responsible. My in the name of Jesus, we in declare that Jesus. parents, oh God, will in understand and know the rights that their parents and children is children. Yes. Oh God, and adults will know the difference between children and adults in the name Ayana. of Jesus. We pull them out in the name of Jesus. Name we of pull Jesus. them out in pull the name out. of pull Jesus. Them pull we them pull them out pull in the name of Jesus. We pull them out in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we stand in the gap. We stand in the gap for our yes. children, for our future generation. Yes. We pull them out. We pull them out of the land of darkness in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pull them out. Hallelujah. We pull them out. We pull them out of the drugs then. We pull them out. They have been using them as drugs mule. But in the name of Jesus, we break the stronghold from over our children today. Oh God, they have been sold out to sacrifice. They have been sold out to sacrifice. But in the name of Jesus, we declare that our children, oh God, shall live a childly lifestyle in the name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God, I wish you could feel the way I do today. But our future generation, oh God, look at the future. It is them without our children. If they don't groom in the right and proper manner, where is the future? Who is going to lead the nation? Who is going to preach the word? Who is going to be good doctors and lawyers? Oh God, our children, oh God, our children are lost and dying. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, most of our children are lost. Oh God, and dying. Oh God, eh, kura basataya. Oh God, oh God, if they are young to thief and to lie, they are not too young to be saved and to be delivered. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, let us train up our children. Oh God, let us ask the Lord to help us to train them. When we see them on the road, when we see them on the street, give them a word, give them a loving word, give them a hint encouraging word. Oh God, let them to know that they are the change for tomorrow. Let them to know that they are the change for tomorrow. So them the bright future ahead of them. Oh God, they can't be anything they want to be in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hey, hallelujah, 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 mighty God, hallelujah, hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. Oh God. Oh God. Some of them are at the wrong bars. Some of them have been smoking. But in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Teach us how to approach them lovingly. Oh God. Give us a heart of compassion to reach them. Oh God. At times they are struggling in the homes. Oh God. Give us the heart. Oh God. To reach out and touch them. And to know that there is a God who loves them. And you can save them and deliver them. Oh God, I thank you. I thank you for what you are doing for our children. Oh God, I thank you for what you are doing for our children in this nation and the nations across the world. Oh God, oh God, I thank you. I thank you. Raise up godly mothers who will weep and who will wail. Raise up godly mothers and the fathers who will take their rightful position. The fathers who will be leaders in their homes. Take them to take their rightful position. God, teach them, God. Oh God, minister to the men. Oh God, the fathers to take their rightful position. You don't have to be a man. You don't have to be a father to teach them. You can be men, righteous men of God to bring up the children in the right path. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Help us to train up our children for the tomorrow. Help us to train up our future generation, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for our children today, God. We thank you for our children today. We thank you for our children today, God. We were children once. Somebody prayed for us. Somebody pressed us through. Oh, God, help us to press through the next generation. Oh, God, e kunda bakasatai. Father, we thank you. We thank you for today. We thank you for today. We thank you for today. We thank you for the move. We thank you for the move. We thank you for the move. We thank you for healing. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for breakthrough. We thank you for resources. We thank you, God. We thank you for your people. We thank you for your people. Oh God, that we shall ascend. Oh God, we will not descend, but we shall ascend. Oh God, in higher heights and deeper depths. We we shall ascend in the name of Jesus. Oh God, teach us how to let our stake and expand our boundaries. Help us, God, to expand our borders in the name of Jesus. Teach us how to take territories in the name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God, teach us, God, teach us, God, to come up in the spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh God, teach us how to wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Teach us, God, teach us by your spirit. Teach us, mighty God. Teach us, mighty God. Oh, God, help us to avail ourselves uh, and to come in agreement with the Spirit uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, God, uh, oh, God, uh, we lay ourselves on the altar of sacrifice today. Oh, God, as we pour out, uh, oh, God, the things uh, that beset us, uh, the things that harass us, uh, the things that trouble us, uh, we pour it out today in your presence, God. Uh, we pour it out in your presence. Uh, we pour it out in your presence. Uh, oh, God, we pour it out in your presence today, Father. We pour it out in your presence. We pour it out, oh God, on the altar of sacrifice. Lay it all today. Lay it all today. That's why we are here. That's what the altar is for. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 That's what this altar is for. Oh God, your altar can be anywhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lay your burdens at the altar. Lay your burdens at the altar. Oh God, we are in your presence to intercede. We are in his presence to pray. We are in his presence to lament. We are in his presence to cry out. We are in his presence to, to deliver. We are in his presence to gain breakthroughs. We are in his presence for a change. Echo Rabasatai. We are in his presence for change. We are in his presence. Oh, we come in agreement. We come steadfast. We come boldly. Oh, God, we stand firm on your word today, God. 
Let every burdens be lifted at Calvary. Let every burden be lifted at Calvary in the name of Jesus. Let every burden be lifted at Calvary. Oh God, in his presence, oh God, in his presence, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hands, there are pleasures forever. Oh God, I thank you that in your presence, oh God, there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forever in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we call upon you today. We call upon you today. It's a new season and it's a new day. We need a new anointing to move on to tomorrow. Speak for itself. We are in your presence now. Oh God, let us exalt our God. It's today we need a new touch. We need a new touch. We need a new touch. We need a new, a new filling. Oh God, we cannot carry today's anointing for tomorrow. We need a now anointing. We need a now move. We need a now move. We need a no move. Hallelujah. We need a new overflow. We need a new overflow. We need a new overflow. We thank you, Lord, for the garments of praise, for the spirit of heaviness. We thank you, Lord, for the oil of joy, for mourning in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the oil of joy, for mourning. Oh, God, let your joy spring forth in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, let the dew in the morning gently rest upon our heart. Oh, God, let the dew in the morning gently rest upon our hearts today, God. Gently rest. Hallelujah. 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 Command your spirit uh, to intercede. Uh, command your spirit uh, to do battle with the enemy. Command your spirit to arise. Command your spirit. Command your spirit. Uh, there's a digging. Uh, there's a digging. Uh, there's a pressing. Uh, we press the water mark uh, for the higher call today. We press. There's a mark. Uh, there's a mark. Uh, there are souls to save. Uh, there are people to be delivered. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God. Uh, oh Oh God, oh God, there's a pressing, 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 press a little deeper, press a little deeper, press a little deeper, press a little deeper. Press a little deeper. Press a little deeper. E kunda bakata kata. E kondo robo shakata. Press a little deeper. Oh God, no matter what you are going to, put that aside and press. There's a pressing. 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 In that day, the word of the Lord declares the burden shall be lifted from off your shoulder and the yoke from about your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. The anointing, oh Kondo robo comes to back the word today. There's a pressing, there's a pressing, there's a pressing, there's a pressing in this place. I can do Rabakata Yando do Bo Shakandai. We press. We press, we press, we press, we press, we press, we press. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Lord, for rivers in the desert and roads in the wilderness. Behold, you will do a new thing. Behold, you will do a new thing, God. Behold, you will do a new thing. Behold, you will do a new thing. Think of river in the desert. Think of roads in the wilderness. Oh, that's our God today. Oh, God, where have you seen rivers in the desert? Where have you seen roads in wilderness. That is how God he will do a new thing. He will, he will surprise you. Hallelujah. Oh God, our God will surprise you. He's a God yesterday, today, and forever. He's our God of supernatural. He's a God of wonders. He's a God of the impossible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. 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 Grab a hold of your God today. Grab a hold of your God today. You need a healing. Grab a hold of your God today. You need a deliverance. Grab a hold of your God today. You need a breakthrough. Grab a hold of your God today. You need deliverance from witchcraft and the powers of darkness. Grab a hold of your God today. Grab a hold of your God today. 
You need a miracle, grab a hold of your God today. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you. I said fire to every heart that is not of you today. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is not of God that work against your people will destroy them in the name of Jesus. We come against every heart, every ungodly heart. Oh God, every heart that has been covered, that has not been covenant with the covenant of the Holy Spirit. We break you today in the name of Jesus. We destroy you by fire in the name of Jesus. We destroy you by fire because you have access in in the name of Jesus, we have authority. Our covenant speak loudly. So we declare and decree it in the very atmosphere, in the stratosphere, in the hemisphere. In the name of Jesus, we declare to the east, the west, the north, and the south. In the name of Jesus, we break every covenant with the devil today. And we declare that the covenant of the Lord our God shall stand. We come in agreement in the name of Jesus. And we use our praise as sacrifice in the name of Jesus. And we come in obedience uh, according to your word uh, that your man servant has bring forth. Uh, let us learn and understand uh, the power of covenant uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, we thank you and we glorify you today. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you. Every unholy altar will be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Let the church open your mouth and say, Fire, Holy Ghost, fire, Holy Ghost, fire. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Holy Ghost, fire. My God. The power of God is in this place today. The power of God is in this place today. Hallelujah. Somebody just go ahead and thank the Lord for intercession. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome the Spirit of the Lord that is here today. We honor the Spirit of God. He's here. He's here. He's here. Somebody just go ahead and honor him. Honor the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We thank you for being here. We thank you for tabernacling with your people, Father. Somebody just welcome him and thank him. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We want to greet you. Hallelujah. We want to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Please accept greetings. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Greetings to First Lady Lewis. Greetings to all our leaders. Yes, put your hands together for the woman of God. Hallelujah to all our leaders and workers. Let's thank the Lord for our leaders and workers in kingdom grace. Yes, and of course, you, our members. God bless you. God bless you, all our members and visitors. Hallelujah. Somebody just go ahead and thank the Lord for our visitors. Are there any? I, I, I think there is one first time. Not a visitor? No. Okay, okay. Sorry, what? Second, third time at fasting service? Always here? Not always, but you've been here before. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let's thank the Lord for her. And thank the Lord for everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, God has been so good to us. We thank the Lord for everything that he has been doing. Hallelujah. And, and we're here in fasting service, beloved, just to give God praise. And it's called fasting and prayer service for a reason. Right? When we come to fasting and prayer service, we pray through. Yes. And we pray until, we pray until our voices are heard in the heavens. 
We, we don't take no for an answer. We do not take no for an answer. This is the battleground where we see our victories being won, where we see breakthrough, where we see transformation. This is the battleground. Yes. And so we thank the Lord. We thank the Lord for you. We thank the Lord for coming. Every time we come to fast and service, we come with that expectation that we're coming to encounter, encounter God in a very powerful way. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we're not going to be very long today, but the Lord has just laid on my heart. We're going to read. Can we just quickly read? I'm going to ask you just to turn your Bibles to Psalm 1. We looked at this. We read it. It was the reading for Sunday morning, this past Sunday. We're just going to look at Psalm 1, verse 1. It's a very well-known scripture. And we want to continue that from Sunday morning to now. It's going to be the focus of this week. So we started the week with Psalm 1 verse 1. We're continuing. So for Kingdom Grace, for the rest of this week, our focus scripture is going to be Psalm 1. The entire chapter. And it reads thus. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Verse 2 says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Verse 3, And he shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of waters, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. My God, the contrast. This is the contrast now in a verse 4. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall here ended a reading of God's holy word. He promised to add his blessings to it. Amen. Amen. This is a focus for us for the week, beloved. And it is wonderful the way the book of Psalm starts off. The book of Psalm, it has so many chapters, so many chapters. But the very first, it starts off on the premise by giving us as believers the blueprint. This is the basis of the believer being blessed. My God Almighty. Very, very, very important that we look at this and that we grow through it. It starts off by saying, blessed is the man. And we know when it says man, it's talking about the individual. Blessed is the woman. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So you realize now that the psalmist is saying that there is a counsel of the ungodly. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So you might be walking. You might not be in dialogue, but there is still a counsel. You might be living. There might not be dialogue, but there is still a counsel. There is an, there, beloved, get this. There is a counsel with association. Did you get that? There is counsel. The word of God says that there is counsel with association. And so every one of you, every one of us, we have to make sure that before you can be blessed, you have to look at yourself and you have to know, you have to follow what the word of God is saying. We have to be obedient. Somebody say obedience. We have to be obedient to the word of God. And so the word of God is saying, if I want to be blessed, if you want to be blessed, you have to ensure that you are not walking in the counsel of those that are ungodly. My God. This is very powerful in a beloved. This is a warning 
and this is it. We have to hearken to the word of God. The psalmist is warning us that the man or the woman, the individual, that not just, and, and, and this is important now, because guess what? Just walking, even if you don't take heed, but the moment you are walking with the ungodly, you're in a position of not being blessed. Even if you say, listen, I have a lot of friends, they are ungodly, but guess what? You know what happened? A lot of people around me and in my company, a whole lot of people in my company, and when I say in my company, I'm talking about your immediate circle. They are ungodly men and women. And you say, Pastor, guess what? No man, they're ungodly, but guess what? They can't change me. Me, I got to change them. Listen, no man, let us have wisdom. At the end of the day, we are not being pompous. And Pastor is not saying to you that, listen, you are to stay away from men. Because at the end of the day, your light must always shine. When Jesus was on earth, he was found, he was found am among sinners because, of course, he wanted to radiate the light and to be the change, to transform. However, what we're talking about now is the counsel of the ungodly because a lot of us, you have in your immediate circle the reason why you're not seeing the blessing, the reason why you're not seeing the breakthrough. You have to check your relationship. Yes. This one verse, Psalm verse 1, verse 1, it speaks to relationships. Did you know that? Psalm 1 and verse 1, blessed is the man. This is, beloved, this is giving us the blueprint to relationships on a whole in life. Yes. And so we have to be very careful now because there is, there is I'm telling you, there is an association. Anytime you have that association of ungodliness, it brings through it. Drought in the spirit. Drought. Anytime you find counsel of ungodliness, there cannot be blessing. That's what the word of God is saying. You know? Anytime you find men and women that are ungodly, no matter what you try and do, there cannot be blessing. Mm. My God. Who are you taking counsel from? Are you taking counsel from the word of God? Or are you taking counsel from those men and women around you that are ungodly? That is why you cannot afford to say, you know what? I have, and, and, and I remember last week when we were wrapping up covenant, we were talking about the importance of friends. Yes, make sure that any relationship you are in, you have to influence the relationship. Whether it be a family member. Did you know that sometimes we take heed to family members and we, because they're a relative, we take their word over the counsel of God's word. And it leads us down to a path of not being blessed. But the word of God is saying that blessed is the man or the woman that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners. What is the way of sinners? There is a way that seemeth right, you know. But what? It leads to destruction. My God Almighty. What is the way of sinners? The way of sinners is that very broad road. You know what the way of sinners is? The way of sinners gives a lot of options. I can live the way I want to live. I can talk the way I want to talk. I can do the things that I want to do. Because the way of sinners, it gives you options. It's a very broad road, but it leads to destruction. But when you want to be blessed, you have to ensure that you narrow yourself in God. The word of God is a yardstick. It keeps us on the narrow path. When we listen to the word of God, you know, the word of God gives you instruction. And if, I'm telling you, it's telling you, you can't do everything that you'd want to do. You can't do, you can't say everything that you'd want to say. You can't go every, any and anywhere that you'd want to go. No. The way of sinners is a very open way. That is why we have to be very, very cautious of any doctrine that allows you to do any or anything. You hear what I say? Any church that also allows you, any group of people that allows you to feel comfortable doing anything, going anywhere, my God Almighty, that is the definition of the way of sinners. Because this Christian life is a life of sacrifice. It is a way, a narrow way. Tell your neighbor, a narrow way. Yes. 
the Christian way, the child of God, the walk that we walk on is a narrow way. If you want to see the blessings of God in your life, if you want to be in right standing with God, you have to stay on the narrow path. And it's called a narrow path for a reason, because you have to be disciplined to walk on a narrow path. Did you know that? Yes, let me tell you something. When you are driving on a road that is big and broad, you can take your time, you can slouch in your car, you can all dilly and dally. But when you are driving on that narrow path on the country, like a road like Junction, you better make sure you are in tune with what is happening. Because if you don't know what you're doing, and if you miss on, if, you, if your gear is too long, mm-hmm, that's what the narrow path is. The narrow path says, listen, this life is a life of discipline. Yes. And so that is why the child of God, we must embrace discipline. Because what discipline does is it keeps you in line. You cannot sit in the seat of the scornful. Yes. This is relationship. What are we talking about, you know? Psalm 1 verse 1 is telling you about, about relationship. You cannot, as a child of God, you cannot find yourself being seated in the seat of the scornful. Yes. So you find you're not just standing now in a way, but you are planted and seated firmly. My God, that is why sometimes God has to uproot some of you out of friendships. Yes, and it hurt. He has to separate you. And your prayer, prayer, you say, Lord, I want to live for you, you know. I love you and I want to really, really, really fulfill my purpose. And you realize, you know what God does? He pulls you out of that seat of the scornful. He prunes and cuts you out of those relationships. And pruning always hurts because it is the cutting. But in order for growth to happen, there must be pruning. Yes. Yes. There are some, not every relationship is good for the child of God. Yes. And we have to live our lives that, and it don't matter what anybody wants to say. They might come to you and tell us, Barrett, oh, you're going like you're better than me, sir. No. I am living a life that demands me to be disciplined. Yes. Javon, oh, you're going to say like you're better than me. No. I am living a life that demands for me to be disciplined. I cannot walk the way you walk because the road I am on is narrow. It requires discipline. Yes. Some of us, you cannot afford to trade your blessing for what friends and other persons are going to think of you. You cannot. You cannot. You are trading your blessing. You are trading your inheritance for, for, for feelings. For what people feel and for what people... No, 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 no. This narrow path is a path of sacrifice that we all must walk. And you cannot escape it. Somebody say, I will not be found in the seat of the scornful. Verse 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. So you delight in the word of God. God's instruction. It is delightful. Do you know what delightful means? It is something that you enjoy. It is not arduous. It's not a chore. Oh God, I am reading the scripture today. My God Almighty, you stress out. You, we have to grow from the stage of reading one chapter and we feel stressed by just reading one chapter. The word of God, you must find delight in it so much so that when you read it, you know it's nourishing to your spirit. You can't stop. Just as how you find delight in social media. Did you know that there is delight? There is, it is ungodly. It's an ungodly seed. Social media, once you start it. I know some young people that once they start skipping through on TikTok. They find a delight in it. And they, before they realize, they realize one hour. And it's just one hour. I mean, consistently on their phone for one hour. And it has nothing to do with God. My God Almighty. The lady says she go home to cook her husband dinner and she go on the internet and TikTok, TikTok and it's 10 o'clock before she remembers that the man food must cook. In the night and she reach home 6 p.m. 
Beloved, it is an addiction and it is a diabolical addiction. It is a diabolical delight. A diabolical delight. But, but guess what? The man that is going to be blessed, his delight is in the law of the Lord. And it is in this law doth he meditate. That's right. What God says, his precepts, his word, his instruction is what you delight in reading. Yes. Yes. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Yes. My God. Just as how everybody is not born on the same day and everybody is, don't die on the same day, everybody don't have their, own, their season at the same time. Everybody has a different season. The scripture says, you will what? His fruit in his season. This is personalized. That means that each and every one of us, we have different seasons. My season might not be yours. But you best believe if I stay faithful to the word of God. And if I stay faithful to what the word of God says. I will bring forth fruit in my season. Mm -hmm. But remember, this is only for the man that is, he, he, he doesn't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. He doesn't stand in the way of sinners. He doesn't sit in the seat of the scornful. But the man or the woman, the, 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 the son of God, the child of God who delights in the word of God and keeps to his precepts, that is the person who will then bring forth fruit. That is the man that will bring forth fruit in his and her season. Yes. So when you look at somebody, you might say, Pastor boy, I see other persons being blessed. Why am I not being blessed? Beloved, stay faithful and stay consistent because your season of fruitfulness is going to come. It is inevitable. It has to come. Just remain consistent. That is why I can be happy when I see somebody else being blessed. Because I know that they have been consistent. They are seeing the blessings of God in their life. And it encourages me now to do the same. Just remain consistent. Yes. And so when I see people being blessed, you know, I talk to myself. I say, yes, that's an indication that it works. If just as though they have been consistent and they are being blessed, if I do the same, I too will also have my season. Yes. That is why in the house of God and the household of faith, we rejoice when others are blessed. Yes. We rejoice when others are blessed because we know that it's an indication that the word of God is true. It does not fail. They are being consistent. Yes. They are not, they are not, they have the right, right relationship. Somebody say right relationships. Yes. They have the right relationships. My God Almighty. And so they have to be blessed. This is the word of God, you know. We cannot go around it. My God. And what does verse 4 says let's wrap up verse 3 it says his leaves also shall not wither mm. and whatsoever he doeth shall yes so it's the blessing of the lord that will cause us to prosper so true prosperity is found in the blessing of the lord yes the blessing of the lord remember now prosperity is not just financial but when you have divine peace, that's a blessing. Did you know that there are persons that they have the finances, but they cannot have peace? There are people in the world right now that they are millionaires. But guess what? They cannot even sleep well at night because there is trouble in their lives, trouble on their minds. And nothing is wrong with money because money, the word of God says money do what? It answers all things. But listen, do not equate Prosperity to only money. No. Prosperity is more than just money. Yes. Peace of mind is something that I'm telling you, beloved. Peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Do you know what's another blessing? Time. Time. That is why, let me tell you this. When God blesses you and you have your little business. And you have the time now. So you can leave and you can close your business for your own time. 
and you can decide to go on a little weekend. And you can put up your foot and relax yourself. Did you know that that's a blessing? Because time is a blessing. Yes. 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 This is important. This is important. So it's not just about financial blessing now. It's about the prosperity. When God talks about prosperity, just as how he says he would love for us to prosper as our soul prosper. He's talking about peace. He's talking about joy. He's talking about divine health. Somebody say divine health. Yes, divine health is prosperity, beloved. Yes, because no matter how well everything is going, when you feel sick, I am telling you, everything comes to a full stop. I am sure everybody in this house has been sick already. Where no matter how good you are, no matter how much clothes we have put on, no matter how everything, the food, you can't even eat the food, no matter how good it looks. Why? Because health is affected. Mm-hmm. Prosperity, divine health. And then verse 4 says, The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind. My God. They are not grounded. That's what it's saying. Just as how the man who is blessed is grounded and his roots go deep, so he's blessed. The ungodly are not grounded. They are just cast aside by the wind, by the test of life. Everything that comes can easily shake them. There is no stability. There are no roots that go down. So they are feeble, feeble, feeble. Mm. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. I know. I, I am not going to perish. We are going to be like the man, like the woman, like the individual who is planted just like a tree planted by the rivers of waters and we will be blessed. Somebody say, I will be blessed. Will be blessed. The rest of this week, this is going to be our focus. Psalm 1 verse 1 right down to the end, verse 6. You're going to read it, and when you're reading it now, you can read it with the understanding, and you're going to meditate on it. Lord, I need your blessing, and so I will not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, and I will not stand in the way of sinners, and I will not sit in the seat of the scornful. Yes. Yes. Even when they look at you, and remember, we're not saying you're to isolate yourself because we have friends and we have associates, but there must be a line where we're not going to take counsel from ungodly men because they're going to lead us down a road that has no blessing. So it doesn't matter what anybody think. Yes, some of you have some, some relatives where you have to just tell them that, listen, we are relatives, yes, but guess what? Uh -uh. I cannot take counsel from you because what you're saying is ungodly. Yes, and you have to be brave enough to tell them. In love, you're not going to disrespect them, but you tell them, say, listen, what you're saying, it's not in line with the word of God. I meditate on the word, and I know what the word of God says for my situation, and what you're advising me, no, it is ungodly. And you'll be brave enough. That's why you have to know what the word says. So when you know what the word says, you know how to counteract the evil, that evil evil device that the enemy will send to counsel you you, 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 you recognize it right away. This is contrary to what the word of God says. My God. Mm. And so we thank the Lord for that. Remember, beloved, for the rest of the week, you're going to be focusing. This is our focus. Psalm 1. Yes, very powerful, very powerful. We also want to quickly look at, the Lord just told me to remind us of our declarations. We have declarations. We have 10 of them that we have established for the ministry. We highlighted it at the beginning of the year. We had some goals that we, were put, that we put in place. And I want to thank the Lord because guess what? Even our goal for new converts and baptism for the first quarter, we were able to make that goal. Somebody clap your hands and thank the Lord. Yes. And, and we're going to dive deeper into that when we go into members meeting tomorrow night. Everybody, all our members, remember, members meeting. We're going to go into that 6.30 tomorrow. You have to be here to hear about that. The first declaration that we looked at 
It's we declare and decree that 2023 and beyond, we, we will present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable God, which is our reasonable service forsaking the things of the flesh. Somebody say amen. amen. Yes. That is something that we have to be reminded about. We're going to ensure that again, even our new members coming in, you have a copy of the declarations. These are things that you pray weekly, daily. No matter what the prayer focus is, you have to hold it true to yourself. It will keep you in line and it will keep you focused. Somebody say focus. Yes. The second declaration, we declare and decree that 2023 will be a year of supernatural fruitfulness and abundance in the lives of the members of Kingdom Grace International Ministry. Somebody say amen. amen. Yes, and already we are seeing some very supernatural, supernatural things happening here. God bless you, Lady Phillips. Some powerful things happening here at this church, you know, woman of God. God not easy, you know, I tell you, God doing some very powerful things, powerful. I tell you, he, 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 he keeps surprising me. He keeps surprising me. There are some testimonies that we hear. The other day, somebody called me with a testimony. I'm going to allow them to give it. When I heard it, I had to sit back and just shake my head and say, wow, my God, my God. Remember, I told you that God is doing something supernatural for finances for April. Last week, I got the testimony. Somebody clap your hands and give God glory. Yes. And I don't believe it's one person. I think somebody else is going to also have a breakthrough. But I thank God. Supernatural abundance, beloved. But remember, it's according to the word of God. There's something that we have to do. Remember now that in order to be blessed, there's something that you have to do. Say, I have to do something. Yes. Results in the kingdom, it is intentional. There is nothing called, when I was growing up, they used to say buck ups. Anybody remember buck ups? The buck ups? Yeah. It just happened by luck. Happenstance. No. In order to be blessed, you have to be intentional intentional. Yes. The third declaration, we declare and decree that 2023 will be a year of divine healing and deliverance in the lives of the Kingdom Grace members and their families. Somebody say healing and deliverance. Yes. And already we're seeing that. We see Sister Loris and her son. My God, the Lord raised the young man from the dead. We had another powerful testimony. The young man being in a coma. My God, this is a second young man in a, being in a coma. It's just last week that the lady messaged me. She reached out to me and she said, man of God, I have to tell you, my son is still doing well. And he is still A-OK. -okay. Wonderful. My God. Just following up, you know, the lady said, listen, man, he is delivered and she's giving God thanks. My God Almighty. Very powerful. Do you believe that God is going to be doing some supernatural healing and deliverance for this year? This year? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The fourth declaration. We declare and decree that 2023 will be a year of the manifestation of the power of the Holy Ghost and fire. Somebody say Holy Ghost and fire. Yes. And so far, we have seen two persons this year get the Holy Ghost right in the middle of the service. Somebody thank the Lord for that. Yes. We thank the Lord for the infilling of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy Ghost. That's something that we cannot neglect. Hallelujah. The fifth declaration is we declare and decree that 2023, the members of Kingdom Grace will mature and develop in prayer and the reading of the word. Somebody say, I will mature. I will develop. Yes, in prayer and the reading of the word. Yes, yes. We're going into a phase. The next phase, we're coming out of covenant. And the next phase we're going into is growth. Somebody say growth. Yes, growth. And it's growth in every aspect of our lives. Yeah. Beloved, this series that we're going in, we're going to open it up for you. And you're going to realize that growth is something, as we said before, is intentional. And you have to do something to see growth. Growth don't happen by chance. And we're going to focus on growing you in every aspect. In your finances, 
in growing you in your prayer life, growing in understanding the word. This is important, you know, understanding the word. Yes, and let me tell you this, growing and seeing growth in your finances, it is something that you're going you're to have to have financial literacy. And remember, I told you that we're going to do a course. It is free that I'm going to be doing. The only thing you have to do is pay for registration. And if you are serious about seeing financial growth, you have to be a part of this seminar that I'm going to do. Yes. Yes. And the reason why the registration is not free is because you have to pay, you have to pay for it. Can I say something? If there's no value attached to things, you'd, if, there's no, if you don't put anything into it, you're not going to value it. You hear what I say? If I tell you to come, book free, everything free, come free, you're going to come in the session and sleep. And you're going to come and just skylark and think, oh, it's just another session. No. Yes. Did you know, let me share something with you. Did you know that that is why people don't ever listen to their pastor sometimes? They listen to the lawyer more than the pastor because guess what? They have to pay their lawyer. Yes. Pastor don't charge, so you don't value the counsel of pastor. But people will value the counsel of their lawyer. Why? Because they have to pay. I know, I, I, yes, they say it. Boy, I have to make sure I get my money's worth. And you, 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 I know a lot of you don't use to hearing these things in church. But this is a part of your growth and development. In order for you to value, you have to have some skin in the game. Yes. Give somebody a Bible right now, free of cost. And you say, hold on to this. Check them back next year. Not even dog is. The Bible tear up, Bible put down, Bible of dirt. But tell them, make them save over six months. Every time they get their lunch money, they have to put down the money to the Bible. And when they buy that Bible, they will value it more than how they would value just getting it for free. Yes. So guess what? You are going to, it's automatic. I'm telling you something that even if you don't believe it, it's so it go. Because as a human being, that is how your mind works. Yes. Anything you put value on, you're going to put more effort in it. Yes. So when you come to this seminar, you're going to learn. I'm doing you a favor by telling you you have to pay registration. Believe it or not. I am helping you to learn. So when you come and you realize that I had, to, I had to sacrifice and get this registration in place. And there's some material that I'm going to recommend that you buy. Not from me. But I'm going to still recommend that you read it. Yes. When you, re yes, when you sacrifice and buy it, you're going to read it. For you know, say, listen, man, I buy that book here for $1,500. $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $
at kingdom grace through miracles, signs, and wonders. Yes, yes. Did you know that a church that have miracles, signs, and wonders, we don't even have to preach too hard? Because people, the miracle, the sign, and the wonder will speak lowly than me can ball out my, my, my throat. Yes. I'm telling you, beloved, one miracle can radically, 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 radically change the membership of a church. Yes. I'm telling you. The one, yes. The one, the one testimony that we had about Sister Loris' son, who passed away and the Lord brought him back to life. That testimony traveled far and wide, not just in Jamaica, but through the Caribbean, in the United States, at Canada. They are hearing what is happening here. And God is getting the glory. Yes. It's not pastor or you or me. No, it's God that is getting the glory. And so God delights in having miracles, signs, and wonders. Because the more miracles there are, he gets the glory. Yes. And so when it happens, what we do, we point men and women to God. When it happens, it is God that gets the glory, right? Good. And we're wrapping up verse number eight, the eighth declaration. We declare and we decree that 2023 will be the year of a Holy Ghost breakthrough over every territorial spirit. A Holy Ghost breakthrough over every principality, power, ruler of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high place in this region. Yes, and we're seeing it already. Listen, when this church pray, I, I don't know about any other church in this region, but when this church pray, we are praying and we are praying against those territorial spirits. All of these spirits, spirits of witchcraft, spirits of young violence, we are praying against it and we're doing it together, a corporate prayer. And we are seeing results already. Somebody say results. Yes. Beloved, that is what we're about to know. Paul says about results. If I'm not seeing, let me tell you this, and I'm being very honest with you. I will lock up the church and say, can't answer, make a call it a day if we're not seeing results. If we're wasting time and we're not seeing results, it don't make no sense. You hear what I say? If people are not being saved and the church is not growing and the territory is not being positively impacted, it don't make no sense. We're wasting time. We're not about just a shout and a voice and because we're on YouTube, no, we're comfortable with that. No, it's about getting, seeing change. If there's no change, we're wasting time. Hallelujah. And, we, and we're not about that. God knows my heart. And if I'm not seeing results, we're going to call it a day. The ninth declaration we declare and decree that in 2023, we will be a people of love. Somebody say love. love. My God. That word is a very loaded word, you know. Yes, we're going to be a people of love. Look at the person beside you or behind you and say, I love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, yes. What I love about us is that we have grabbed on. And, and believe, put your hands together for yourself. You learn quick. The members of Kingdom Grace, you're learning very quickly. Because I realize there are people that are members of this church right now. Because they said they came in as just a visitor. And they felt the love of God. Is there anybody here that can testify to that? They came in and they felt the love of God? Yes. 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 You just come in and you just feel the love of God. I remember one morning about a month ago. I came into the sanctuary, Sunday morning it was, and we were just starting off, and I tell you, the love of God was just, it was tangible. I, I, I feel like I could touch it. I looked on everybody's face, and people were just in love with God and in love with each other. And you know what I do? I go in the office and go ball. Because it is something that I have, I, I pray for it. I said, God, this ministry, we want your love to be felt. Love is an action word. And this ministry, we're not going to be about saying, I love you, and we don't show it. Don't it? Tangible. So if I say, I love you, Sister Butler, guess what? My action must also follow that. Yes. Yes. And again, 
Beloved, this one we do it God's way. I'm telling you, it make it easier. It make evangelism even easier. It takes self out of it. You see, when things like these, when these principles are not established in a church, then we have to do everything of ourselves, of the flesh. We'll leap a work of putting in our energy. No, but love will open the door for people to come and stay. Hallelujah. Not just love, but also honor and loyalty. And you know, we're big on that. Honor and loyalty. Yeah, man, we're people of honor. We honor everybody. Just as oh, you honor pastor, make sure that you honor the person that you're sitting beside. Let me tell you, you, you cannot honor pastor. And when you go home, you don't honor your husband. You can't honor pastor when you go home, you don't honor your wife. You can, no, it's not so it go. You can't do that. You can't be honoring pastor, but you don't honor the people who are around you. So you t- we talk to each other in any way. No, 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 no. When you dishonor each other, you're dishonoring God. Right? In order to honor God, we also have to honor men and women around us. Amen? Amen. And we will fully submit to God's will being done in our lives. Somebody say amen. And the last one, it says, we declare and decree that this year, 2023, in kingdom grace, we will, I know, I, I, and, and I, beloved, I don't know, you know, but I'm telling you, God is going to, I see it already. God is going to send us a property. He's going to send us a property. He's going to send us a property. Send us a property. Lady Phillips, you want to sell us the whole block here? <laughs> Lord of mercy. But let me tell you, we have a lot to do, and we're going to need some more space too. Don't it? We need some space. We need some space. We need some space. So we're going to pray into it, and we believe that it's going to happen. But if God, God, it, we, have a, God have a, we, have a, we have a show God so we're serious. We have a show God so we're serious. So we say, one soul more, right? One soul more, one soul more, one soul more. We believe it, we believe it, we believe it. And we're being patient, but we're being very intentional about our declarations. These are ten declarations that we're having. We have established it for the year. And we're going to ensure that all the members, new members especially, you have them. And you read it over and you declare it. Amen? Amen, beloved. That's it. We're going to close off. Today has been a blessing. For those persons who came after the prayer, the prayer today was wonderful. We had good intercession where we prayed through and we're giving God the glory. Somebody say amen. 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 We want to also remember our brothers and sisters in Pakistan, the Pakistan church family. I'm going to ask us to make sure that we pray for them when you get the chance to pray for them because it's tough there. The other day they were praying in the streets. And some extremists came and tell them, to listen, lock off that. No one hear nothing about Jesus. Remember, this is the Middle East. It's not just the United States. Where you can tell them the First Amendment and Second Amendment and Third Amendment. Them no one hear that. And they told them just to lock it off or else. Yes, and the man of God, boy, him brave. Him learning. Because I tell you, I said, man of God, if God can't defend you, if God can't deliver you, then nobody can deliver you. And this is, you have to have some skin in the game. And if you're going to start a church in Pakistan, and you have to be serious about it. Because these men, they don't want, they don't complain. And you know, they come and tell them to lock it off. And the man go and talk to them and say, listen, guess what? We're not going to stop the church. We're not going to stop it. We'll turn down the box. But we're going to continue praying for the people. And extremism look for him and say, all right. We are getting. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. And he was able to continue to pray for the people right there on the road. And they never stop him. Yes, yes, yes. In order, beloved, in order. You have to, sometimes you have to prove God, you know. Yes, and, and we know wisdom is important. We know wisdom is important, you know. But my God, if you follow the devil, the devil will come and whisper in your ears and say, you need to be wise. The devil will use that, you know. You know that? Yes. 
The devil will tell us, pack it up. You know, you need to use wisdom. You better allow the spirit of God to lead you. <laughs> yes, 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 beloved. Yes, beloved. So we want to continue to pray for them. Continue to pray for them there. They mean well. They're doing well. And they are growing also. They, for last year, they baptized. They were able, the last part of last year, the second half, 17 people in Pakistan were baptized. 17. Yes. And that in itself is a blessing. It's a big deal. Somebody says a big deal. It's a big deal because 90%, 95% of the nation is, is Islamic. Is Islamic. Is Islamic. They, they don't, they, they say Jesus, they don't see Jesus as God. They just say he was, a, 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 oh yes, we hear about him. He was one prophet, so it did come about. That's how they see it. They say it's Allah is God and they're very serious about it. So let's pray for them. We're going to ask everybody to stand up. We're going to close. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for this word that encouraged our heart. We thank you, oh God, that we were able to pray through today. We thank you, oh God, for the strength that you released in our lives, the strength that you placed on us, Father, to pray, to intercede on behalf of this nation, to intercede on behalf of our leaders Oh God, we thank you for the mind to pray. We believe even now, Father, that you are about to do something exceedingly abundantly above that which we can even ask or think. You're about to do something special in this island of Jamaica. And we are praying that your spirit will be made manifest. That the kingdom of God will come in power and authority so that men and women can be saved and lives can be transformed. Even as we went through our declarations, Father, we pray that they will not just be words on paper. But these declarations will be a reality in our hearts. These declarations will be a reality for each and every member. It will be a measuring stick. We will hold ourselves accountable to these things. We thank you now, Father, for strengthening us. We thank you for sending help. We thank you for sending men and women who are ready with the right heart to serve and to live for you. We're thanking you, Father, in advance for the many men and women that are going to be saved, for the young people that you are pulling, that you are drawing. We thank you God for souls that are being saved even now. We thank you for the transformation that we are seeing right now in this community, in this area, in Spanish Town. In spite of whatever we might see now, we believe to see. We believe to see. We believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And so we thank you for what you have already done and we thank you for what you are going to be doing. We will be careful to give you all the glory. We'll be careful to give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen.